Hey, Sows, get up. Up. Wake up. Uh, Amanda Plunkett, and I'm a fourth year animal science and management major, and I live and work at the swine facility. I lived at the sheep unit for two years and worked there also. So when I was growing up, my parents have a ranch in Vacaville, and it's mostly quarter horses. When um, my sister was nine, she's three years older than me, she started showing sheep in 4-H, and that quickly evolved. I started showing sheep, and now I have about 30 brood ewes and two rams, and I breed, and breed the ewes and sell the lambs to 4-H kids. Most time people are like, so where do you live? And I have to say, well, I live at the swine barn. You live in a barn? <laughs> no, I don't live in a barn. I don't live in the cement stalls outside. I live in a room. The first question I usually have is, does it smell? Our living quarters doesn't smell, but the pigs technically smell. After a while, you don't notice it. Just like if you wear a certain perfume, you may not notice it. Like animals are more or less what de-stress me and help me relax. Okay. Let's go. <coughs> well, I want to become a large food animal vet. Mostly uh, beef cattle and then other food animals. And also I want to throw some equine in there. I've lived at the swine unit and the sheep barn. By doing so, you get to talk to the researchers and the professors, and they get to know you. That just makes you feel better when you walk through Meyer Hall and Dr. So-and-so knows your name. You can go to them for help. A lot of people, they only get to touch animals during some labs. I get to do it every day. I've learned a lot more hands-on experience with pigs. I know how to handle pigs now. I know a lot more about their life cycle than I would by just sitting in a classroom. I'm at the Swine Center, I work anywhere from one to four days a week. There's four residents, so we switch off weekends. Every fourth weekend we work both days and also do the night feedings because there's also the sows with the piglets have to get fed every night and we do one night a week and also the nights of the weekends that we work. <laughs> they love it when it's feeding time. They know in the morning when they hear the door go up for breakfast, the pigs outside go nuts. <laughs> they want to be fed first and they want food now. <laughs> And the sows also know when they hear the cart come into the, the, the farrowing house that it's time to eat. And so, uh, pig food is primarily a cornmeal, soy meal mix. We have four different rations at the pig barn. They're specifically designed for that stage of development. That We have a lactation ration for the sows that are feeding the piglets. We have a starter ration, which is for the piglets that just got weaned off the sows. We have a grower ration. We have a finishing ration for the piglets who have graduated from the grower ration. And then there's also a gestation ration which is for the sows who are pregnant. I definitely think that pigs look like humans. And I may be the only person in the world that thinks this. They have the same wide eyes. They can be blue, brown, green. They have eyelashes to go with them. <laughs> they also have similar cheekbones. Even though they have snouts that are just giant noses. I think it's weird, but I see a person when I look at some of the pigs. <laughs>